Hello my soccer universe. Let's finally look back at what happened at the last weekend, well, during the last week, more or less, and a little bit ahead for where games are still to be played. And we're gonna go right into it. Uh, first of all, why am I wearing Atletico? Because I like the jersey, simple like that. Not that Atletico did something special. And we're actually gonna start in Spain anyway to see how little special they did. Here are the results from uh, this last uh, match day in Spain. So the La Liga is finished. Levante Atletico Madrid only a 2-2 draw. Last game for Griezmann. There were seemingly some whistles. It's going to be interesting. I think there's going to be a big break at Atletico that I'm personally curious what they will do. They have been able to replace great players. I remember uh, Arda Turan went to Barcelona, who was an amazing player for them, and then you didn't hear of Turan anymore, but you heard of Atletico Madrid. So maybe they'll be fine. We shall see. Um, Sevilla against uh, Bilbao, 2-0. This was a crazy game. I have the link up there if you want to see the, my account from Saturday of how it went for the Europa League spots. Uh, also in there was Espanyol 2-0 against the Raza Ciudad and Getafe via Real 2-2 and Valencia Real Valladolid. Um, Valencia wins 2-0 at Real Valladolid. All that means that uh, Espanyol makes it to the Europa League. The two Basque teams are out. Valencia is in the Champions League. Seated in the table. Celta Vigo 2-2 against Rayo Vallecano, who because of that actually finished last because Huesca wins 2-1 uh, against Leganes. And Alaves uh, beats Girona 2-1. Celta was more or less safe already before, but that basically secured it. Um, Aspas getting uh, two goals. And then on Sunday, the two big boys finish it up. Real Madrid losing at home to Real Betis. Betis wins this season at the Camp Nou, at the Bernabeu, and they're not anywhere in the discussion for any European spots. You gotta... <laughs> that must be the weirdest season ever. And Eibar Barcelona 2-2. Barcelona seemingly played with the lineup they want to do for the Cup Final which is happening uh, this weekend against Valencia, I think it's Saturday evening. Uh, so the final league table has Barcelona winning La Liga, 87 points, Atletico Madrid, you never thought that they had such a great season overall, but they are second with 76 points, Real Madrid 68, Valencia 61, those are their teams in the Champions League. Getafe 59 and Sevilla 59 go into Europa League and Espanyol goes in Europa League qualification. Then the Big chunk of teams that did not uh, qual uh, qualify, but at least stayed in the league. We had Bilbao at 53, Real Sociedad 50, Real Betis 50, and Alaves 50. Then uh, the next chunk of teams were always a little bit in discussion. Now maybe Eibar and Leganes, not so much 47, 45 uh, points with relegation, but Villarreal was threatened for a while, Levante as well, Valladolid 41, Celta Vigo 41, uh, up until the last match day, and then Girona who actually looked relatively safe not too long ago, but then went on a horror run that ended in relegation. Huesca and Rayo also. Where it was a pretty tight relegation battle, but it technically did go down to the last match day, but um, realistically it never went there. So that's your final table in Spain. Let's also look at the um, um, Segunda Division, where still a match day to play, but also Suna already has their ticket booked to the top flight. And Granada is very likely to follow, they just need a draw. Then they have a promotion playoffs, similar system as in England, where at the moment it's Albacete, Mallorca, Malaga, and Cadiz uh, getting in there. La Coruña has an outside chance, uh, as probably does um, Oviedo. So here we have. Uh, the chances for them getting into the playoff. Albacete is more or less in there. Granada is more or less promoted, but you know, th that could uh, still switch. But then Mallorca is more or less safely in the playoffs. Malaga uh, 81%, Cadiz 67%, Deportivo 46%. So uh, the four spots, Deportivo will have a harder time get getting in there. And Oviedo only 8%. So that's basically. Uh, the cut of the academic chances are for Gijon, Almeria, and Elche, as shown in this table here. That was Spain. 
So uh, gotta be interesting who goes up there. Now we go England where we are already in the playoffs. We had um, during the week last week we had uh, Derby County winning at Leeds United 4-2. Leeds United had won the first leg at Derby County um, and had a 1-0 lead just before half and then got the equalizer and Derby County then just rolled over Leeds. Kind of a, a I don't want to say a down unnecessary. I know Leeds is one of the least liked teams in England, but I still think this is a team that would belong up there. But so is the other team that lost here, West Brom, Aston Villa, and it won nil. So the result from the first leg, uh, where it was 2-1 for Villa, uh, got equalized. No away goals in this case. Went to penalties where Villa won. Uh, Villa is another team that absolutely, probably even more so than Leeds, belongs in the Premier League. Aston Villa at least has won, an, uh, has won a European Cup, so what's the Champions League today? So we have um, on Monday we have the final uh, where Aston Villa is favored over Derby County to make it. It's of course a Wembley game, 60 to 40. Yeah, the odds according to 538. A little bit of Italy. If you want to know everything about Serie A, here's the link above. Uh, that's that I made yesterday the video with all the sit uh, situations that could happen. There's even more crazy stuff happening. If you uh, if you don't have it, look for the Serie Awesome podcast where they even explain, for instance, for Inter Empoli, just a little tidbit. Spalletti is about, you know, knows that he's probably getting fired at Inter. Do you know uh, what team he's a fan of? Empoli. Do you know who, who Inter is playing? Empoli. Who knows who, who is in great form? Empoli. Just one of those little things. Also Fiorentina again, where those fans don't like each other, which makes everything and are all very unhappy with their team. So there is a lot happening there. But I'm not talking about Serie A, as I said, they have almost half an hour worth of video. We're going to talk about Serie B, who is finished. Uh, it was a weird league with only 19, with 19 teams and Palermo being put with 63 points on last spot, but we'll get to that. The, it finished with Brescia at 67 and Lecce 66 being promoted. And then the promotion playoffs, which are absolutely crazy in Italy. Eight teams qualified. We have Benevento and Pescara were already fixed in those uh, semifinals. And then in the last playoff round, it was Hellas Verona uh, against Perugia, who finished eighth. And then Spezia against Cittadella. Hellas beat Perugia 4-1. Uh, and Spezia lost at home to Cittadella 1-2, which means that we now have uh, Benevento playing against uh, Cittadella and Pescara playing against Hellas Verona. So that's uh, the top of that table. And as I said, Palermo would be in there, would actually have the top seed in the playoffs with 63 points, but uh, due to financial irregularities, they're not going up. They are going down to Liga G. Um, I think we already have the first leg is maybe tonight or will be played um, between those, but I don't know the results now. We'll talk about this in the next week's roundup. Uh, chances for promotion at the moment. Yeah, Benevento. Yeah, Benevento already won uh, at Cittadella, I think, 2-1. Now that I see it. Um, the odds. So we have the odds. Uh, Benevento getting promoted 61% because they already have the big uh, win. Uh, Pescara 15%, Verona 18%. Um, it, all the odds look uh, like it's going to be a Benevento-Verona uh, final. I think it's a two-legged final as far as I remember. It's not like in England because the stadiums would not be filled. But uh, as a whole other story, if you have the chance to want to read a nice book, a season with Verona, where you see actually the hard travels of uh, Hellas Verona fans to the south of Italy. There was also kind of a playoff at the end there. Germany. Talked also a lot about Germany in this video that I mentioned, for, uh, where I also talked about Spain here. I also talked about the last day in Germany. Here just the results. Gladbach, Dortmund 0-2, Wolfsburg, Augsburg 8-1. Bayern 5, Frankfurt 1, Schalke, uh, Stuttgart and Skolles, Düsseldorf, Hannover 2-1, Hertha, Leverkusen 1-5, Bremen, Leipzig 2-1, Freiburg, Nürnberg 5-1, Mainz, Hoffenheim, the craziest game of the uh, weekend, 4-2, um, after Hoffenheim had a 2-0 lead as far as I remember. 
sets up the final table. Bayern 78, Dortmund 76. It has not been that tight in a long time in Germany. Uh, Leipzig 66 and Leverkusen 58 makes it just in the Champions League. Gladbach, although being for most of the season in those top four spots, falls out of it, has 55 points, as does Wolfsburg, who is in the Europa League. And really, with a lot of help from Mainz, Frankfurt makes it into uh, the Europa League qualification at 54 points, Bremen 53, Hoffenheim 51. And then uh, the midfield is actually, I would say, only three teams. It's Düsseldorf 44, Hertha 43, Mainz 43. Uh, it's actually a four-tiered league. You have Dortmund and Bayern, then you have the Leipzig kind of uh, on their own, then the others are in there, and then you have those 40 point teams and then going closer to the relegations on Freiburg 36, Schalke 33 had a horrible season. Augsburg manages to survive at 32. Stuttgart has the promotion uh, playoffs against Union Berlin as we will see um, in a bit. Uh, those will uh, be uh, Thursday night and then Hannover and Nürnberg are relegated. Nürnberg even finishes in last place because the last two games were not that well. Speaking of the second league, we see that um, Paderborn actually lost at Dresden, but Union Berlin could not win against Bochum. Uh, so this is 2-2. Dresden beats Paderborn 3-1. This means Union Berlin had, uh, unfortunately, could not uh, get the direct uh, promotion spot. And Hamburg also never really had the chance because of these results. Um, they had just finished a point behind Union Berlin, but they would need Bochum to win. They could have won by a whole lot and it would still have been uh, uh, tough to uh, overtake them. Uh, so we have Köln, 63 is promoted. Paderborn, that's the big surprise, it's a 57. Uh, level on points with Union Berlin, also 57, but having the better goal differential. And Hamburg, the big disappointment of the season, 56. It looked for the most of the season it will be Köln in Hamburg. No. Hamburg, after spending all their, since the founding of the Bundesliga in 63, all the time they were in uh, the Bundesliga, they got relegated last year. They will have a second year. Um, I hope that we'll see Hamburg soon up there again. France, that's a little bit more interesting because they also, this was match day 37. We have Rennes Strasbourg 2-0. Those are the two uh, cup winners, the League Cup winner Strasbourg, Rennes against the Coupe de France winner. And both are in the Europa League, Rennes in the group stage, Strasbourg in the qualification. Guingamp, Nîmes 2-2. Um, too little for Guingamp, Lille 5-0 against Angers, Toulouse, Marseille, 2-5 uh, doesn't help anymore, as we'll see. Monaco Amiens 2-0 was a huge win for Monaco, who basically is safe thanks to that result. So uh, they still can get relegated, we'll see, but it will, it will be much harder. Bordeaux continues also similar to Schalke Bordeaux in a way, except they were not in the Champions League. Loses 1-0 at home to Reims. PSG finishes the season 4-0, Santa T no, finishes the season at home. Uh, they still have an away game to go. Saint Etienne 3 0 against Nice. Basically, uh, they have secured the Europa League spot. Montpellier not 1 1 and uh, Lyon Caen 4 0 as was expected. This sets up now the table ahead of the final uh, match days. We have on top Paris Saint Germain 91 and Lille 75 are qualified for uh, the Champions League. Lyon is more or less safe. Now is safe in the Champions League qualification, that's also fixed, and uh, Saint Etienne can also not be uh, pushed out of the Europa League spots anymore. Now Strasbourg and Rennes are also in there, so that takes care of all the Europa League spots for France. Montpellier 59 finishes in fifth, uh, Marseille 58, Nîmes 53, Nice 53, uh, Reims 52, Rennes 49, that finishes out the top half. Rennes just a point at the moment. Um, Ahead of Nantes at 48, Strasbourg 46, Angers 45, Bordeaux 38, Toulouse 38, and then uh, the relegation battle starts right here. Monaco 36, Amiens 35, Caen 33, Dijon 31. Guingamp is already down. So of note is the Caen is at the moment at the playoff spot. Dijon is at the moment relegated. Um, but depending on the results, uh, this can still uh, go anyway. It seems that Monaco is 
largely safe because they have a good goal, the best goal difference uh, at minus 17, Amiens minus 22, Caen minus 24, Dijon minus 30. Let's look at the final uh, games. We have, um, let's see, Caen playing at home to Bordeaux. Potentially they could do something there, uh, given the rare form of Bordeaux. Nice Monaco, that's kind of a rivalry. I could imagine Nice uh, going out there a little bit uh, stronger. We have Dijon at Toulouse, um, also not that tough. Of a, I often ask an Amiens plays at home against the Olga already relegated going go. I would actually give Amiens the win here, um, which kind of makes them safe. Monaco should probably get the draw and count Dijon. It could get tight. It could get tight. Um, and I think in France it is really goal difference that makes the difference. Um, I think the table will end more or less like we have it here. 538 says Amiens 4% being relegated, uh, Caron 37%. Note this also includes the playoff. Dijon 93%. So they are really looking at uh, relegation right there. So that uh, last round will actually be played on a Friday evening. Second league in France, Metz is up, Brest is up. Those are, uh, they, they are already finished and then the three playoff spots are Troyes, Paris and Lens. And I think I saw already that uh, Paris played at home to Lens 1-1 one, one, and then there was a penalty shootout that Lens won. So they will play a home and away against Troyes. Uh, and they are the odds on favorites to win uh, promotion. So um, that's how it stands in the second league. Then the next league is because we talked about last time. The la I tag on two more leagues just because we have uh, champions since last week. Turkey, the Super League. I Galatasaray with the huge title deciding win over Bajak Shehir. Uh, Bajak Shehir needed a win as did uh, Galatasaray probably could, could have lived with a draw but with a win guaranteed them the spot. Uh, Bajakshi had a lead at halftime. Galatasaray turned, turned around, 1-2-1, secures the championship. Also, Trabzonspor beat Bajikers 2-1, which basically put Bajikers out of any running that they might have had if there was a tie. But also means trouble for Trabzonspor, because Trabzonspor at the moment is under FFP um, investigation that have for now been banned. So it, we have to see how this will end up. As it stands, Galatasaray is in the Champions League, Bajak Shehir is in the qualification, Bajikas is in the Europa League, and uh, Mal Malatia Spor and possibly Antalya Spor will be in qualification. It could be Trabzon Spor as well, but uh, from all, all I read, I don't think it's gonna happen that way. Also, note Fenerbahce only at 43 points. And Akisa Spor, who were cup winners in the cup final, are relegated together with Bursum Spor and Erzurum Spor. So that's how, um, yeah, I think the last two still have a chance. Although Erzurum Spor uh, looks more or less re relegated, but Bursum Spor, uh, Gostepe, there could be something still happening. It's still a match day to play, but Gala is already champion. Also a match day to play in the Czech Republic, however, we know already who's the champion. Slavia Prague gets a nil-nil at Panik Ostrava, which is enough, even though uh, Victoria Pilsen won 2 nil at Liberec in the championship round. And that means Slavia cannot be overtaken because they have a similar system as in Austria, where uh, it's then who had more points uh, will win it also superior goal difference. So Slavia 80, Victoria Pilsen 77, Slavia are champions, Europa League qualification. They, both of them will play in the Champions League qualification, the Europa League qualification, Sparta Praha and Jablonets uh, will play there as well. And that, my friends, ends my European <laughs> roundout for this week, second to last, I think, for the season. Uh, I know I should be writing a little bit more about my blog of, on jerseys for the upcoming international tour and tournaments. I'm uh, already want to prepare a little bit for the Champions League final, some at least one if not two top 10 videos uh, for that, maybe even a third one with jerseys, we have to see. Uh, 
that's coming up a little bit Europa League as well. By the way, if you didn't know, Thursday evening, Arsenal London is flying in none other than my hometown team, Las Glintz, for a secret friendly, not open to public, which I find very curious because it is better for Lusk if Arsenal lose that final against Chelsea. WTF. I, I mean, it's a big honor, but it is also one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. There is a vested interest of Lusk to actually injure some of the Arsenal players. It might not be good for them, but you know, get out your Italian stuff. Um, if that wasn't riding on it, so if Chelsea wins, um, Lusk would start in the third uh, Champions League playoff phase, which basically guarantees a spot in the Europa League group phase, group stage. Otherwise, it's not guaranteed. So it's a huge thing uh, if they would make it to Europe. So I'm all Chelsea. Otherwise, I probably would be neutral in that final. But now I'm all Chelsea for that one, which means that Arsenal will win it. I just have this gut feeling. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this round of video. Um, any comments on the leaks that I mentioned? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.